Okay, in this video we're going to have a very brief look at just a Moodle overview, um, just really basic stuff that you can do in Moodle. Um, you see my, I've just got an open course here, um, you've got 15 topics down there, but we can change that to weekly view. So if we go into settings here in the left hand side, if we click on that, you have this option here, topics format or weekly format. So if I change that to weekly format, and let's say there's only 10 weeks in my course, so I can change that to 10. And I can also change the start date if I want. Scroll down and click Save Changes. And there's me changed into weekly view. So it depends how you want to set up, whether you want topics or, or weekly views. Um, one of the things to notice is down the right hand side here uh, are things called blocks. Now, to edit anything, if you turn the edit on here, you'll see it goes slightly different um, and if you scroll down you've got blocks down the bottom here and you can add different blocks in here so let's say if we wanted to add in um, let's say course site description it appears here so to do this editing you go to turn editing on here And you'll notice you've got these symbols appearing next to quite a few things. So this is a news forum that I've got in my top section. These two icons here are to move them, either up and down or to the right. Um, this is to edit it, to, to change its settings. Um, so if I click on that, here's all the settings for the news forum. And you've got this one to delete it. And this is one icon I really like, is you can show and hide things. So if I click on that, you can see it's now an eye. So students in this course would be able to see this now. And when I click on it and the eye is shut and it's grayed out to me, a student wouldn't be able to see that. One way of checking to see what the student can see is in the top right corner here where it says switch role. You can change that to student. And that will then, your course will now be seen in the same way a student sees it. So all your administration options have gone. Um, the icon that was there that was greyed out that we chose to hide, when a student's there, a student can't see that. And you can click here to return to your normal role. Okay, so if you go back to turning the editing on, to add resources and activities into your site, you use these drop down lists on the side. So if I say in the first week of my course, I want to add a document, for example, I would do a link to a file or a website, give the file a name, and then choose or upload the file here. And you upload it into your file section, and then you choose it to go into that week. So the first thing I need to do is upload it to my file section. So let's say I'll upload this, uh, what should we upload? upload this image here okay so that's it there so it's in my file section now but I need to choose it to go into this um, link that we're setting up here so I click choose over here and you'll see it's now appeared here now down here if for example if it's a word document and the student clicks on it at the minute, it'll just open in the same window. So Moodle, it'll the browser will move away from Moodle and open the Word document instead. So sometimes it's a good idea to say it opens in a new window. And then the Moodle will stay open in the background. And then save and return to your course. And so there's this file that I've created there. And if we go into our file section down the bottom left here, we can see that's the file that it's linking to. If you've got a lot of files and a lot of um, folders to upload, instead of doing it, going into the file section and uploading it individually, doing one file at a time, a good way of doing it is to use zip folders. Um, now I've created in my documents a folder here called Moodle folders. Inside that there's a Word document and then there's a subfolder. Inside the subfolder is a document, 
and another subfolder and there's a document inside there. Now to upload all those individually I'd have to create each folder and then move to each folder and upload each file one at a time. But what I can do is if I right click over this folder and do send to compressed zip folder okay so that's created now this Moodle folders dot zip and what I can do is go back to Moodle in the file section go to upload a file find the file I'm wanting which is the Moodle folders dot zip upload this file and so here it appears here Moodle's folder dot zip now I've got the option to unzip this so if I click unzip it unpackets it all and then I now have this folder called Moodle folders. I can delete my zip file by ticking it using the drop down list and choosing delete completely. And then the Moodle folders here, when you click into it, you can see there's a subfolder and the document I had, another subfolder with the other document in there, and then inside the subfolder, there's this document. So it's kept that structure that I'd created originally. Now to link this into my site, what I would do is, it, let's say if I wanted it in this week here, add a resource and instead of linking to a file or website, I want to put the, f the root folder in there with all the files and the relevant folders um, included. So I do display a directory instead. Need to give it a name. So we'll call it Moodle folders. And then down here we choose which directory to display. So I'm going to choose this Moodle folders one because it's going to have Moodle folders subfolder and the other subfolder as well. So I'll choose that one and save and return the course. Now if I change my role to a student, what the student's going to see is this folder here. And if they click into it, they'll now see the document and the subfolder and they can click through to the relevant documents. And you see in the breadcrumb trail here, you've got the subfolder, subfolder one and Moodle folders and then back into the site. Okay, so if you keep checking back um, on the blog, what I'm going to do is, is go through different, uh, different things you can do with resources and the different activities. I'll create little videos that, that show you what each of those do. But that's just a basic overview of, of Moodle.